awesome, fabulous, magnificent fifth grade students. This is Ms. Davis tuning in once again. We are working on standard GSE Georgia standard of excellence. Fifth grade, that's you. OA, order of operations and algebraic thinking. Two, second standard in this domain, order of operations and algebraic thinking. We are still in unit one, mind you. This standard says you will write simple expressions that record calculations with numbers and interpret numerical expressions without evaluating them. Evaluating basically means what? Solve. We are not solving without evaluating them. Without solving them. We're not solving, okay? The less objective is, you're going to write numerical expressions. Plain and simple. Let's review. Evaluate means to solve or find the answer to the expression or to any problem. Numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that includes only numbers and operation symbols. Operation symbols are plus sign, minus sign, multiplication sign, division sign, and also like exponents. Okay? Those are operation. Okay? Well, yeah, operational symbols. Now, write words to match the expression. We have six times the difference of 12 minus 4. Or six times the difference of 12 and 4. You're probably saying, what in the world is she reading those words? What? All I'm doing is saying in word form what this numerical expression is showing. Now, let me move this down a little bit. In order to write words to match the expression, our first step is to examine the expression. Look at what you're working with. I have my numbers. Let me go ahead and circle my numbers. I have six, 12, and four. Now, I'm going to write my numbers out to the side. Six, well, I'm doing it in green still. I'm writing in green. Six, 12, and four. Those are my numbers. Now I'm going to look at my operational symbols. I have multiplication sign and I have a subtraction sign. Now, for multiplication, words that represent multiplication can be multiply, we can say the product, stuff like that. Now, the subtraction sign, words that represent the subtraction operational symbol can be the difference, Minus, subtract. Those are all word forms that represent these two operational symbols within this numerical expression. So we're going to try to use these words to help us write out our numerical expression in word form. So now I want to come to here. 
and I'm going to start off. Now, this is very important. As you can see, I have parentheses. Anytime you have a numerical expression and you have to write it in word form or you have to convert it from a word form to a numerical expression, when you see parentheses, parentheses can represent the or um, let's see something else I came across. Then, and we're going to come across some examples that represent what the parentheses would be in word form, okay? So pause, copy this down because I'm about to erase it, okay? Now, so we have six, writing it in word form. So we're going to say six times the difference of There we go. We just took it from numerical expression form to a word form representing that same numerical expression. Now I'm going to draw above the symbols where I'm going to circle my numbers in green. Right here I have 6 times the difference of 12 and four, okay? Now I'm going to underline my symbols, operational symbols. Here I said, well, I'm gonna box it in because that looks kind of funny. So I have multiplication sign and a subtraction sign. This right here, Six times, six times. The difference, difference. This difference represents subtraction. This represents multiplication, okay? Now, remember that special word, the? The represents our parentheses, okay? It just takes practice. This standard can be a little tricky at times, but with practice, you guys will get it. So, you're probably thinking, well, Ms. Davis, how do I write a numerical expression? Well, boys and girls, I'm about to show you, okay? Let's work on writing numerical expressions. All right. We have the sum of 4 and 2 divided by 3. Now you may notice what's different from the other numerical expression that this has numbers in number form and in word form. Now, it's okay. As long as you examine the expression, describe what each part of the ex expression can represent, and then write the numbers or words, you're gonna take this from word form to a numerical expression. So I am going to do this one for you. The sum of four and two. Well, I hear the, 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 the means this is going inside the parentheses. So the sum, that means addition, okay? So the sum of four and two, the sum of four and two. The word sum means addition, okay? 
Sum represents the answer in an addition problem. So the sum of 4 and 2, the sum of 4 and 2, divided by 3, divided by 3, look at there, here are our numbers. And our operational signs okay so we're going to divide this all by three that's it that is your answer did it tell you to evaluate it no did not tell you to evaluate it now if I did if it says write the numerical expression and evaluate it or solve it, we can already see from our first standard 5081 that we would do 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. But it didn't ask us to solve it, so ignore that. Moving on. 15 minus the sum of 8 and 1. Ha! Now, I'm going to give you a tip that helped my kids four, three, four years ago when I explained this standard to them because it was kind of difficult. They couldn't grasp the concept of when to use the right operational symbols and when to put certain parts of the expression in the parentheses. But I'm going to help you, okay? So what we're going to do, write this down as a note. Remember, circle numbers. And then box in operational symbols. Okay? And then remember the or then, hold on, and or then means parentheses, okay? The and or then. So if you see the or the word then and the word then, then make, that means whatever is after that word is going to be in parentheses, okay? So copy this down, pause it, copy this down, and then I'm going to erase it. Now, let's write this one down. So, we're going to circle our numbers. I see 15. And I see 8. And I see 1. Alright, now, I'm going to box in my operational signs. Minus, and I'm going to put it underneath here. That's minus. And then I see sub. I want to put some right here, okay? So now I know what I'm working with. Go. I'm sorry, I was I was feeling it. Uh oh, I see. Look at this word. The, 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 the. Open up my parentheses. Because whatever is after the is going right in here. The sum of 8 and 1. The sum means add. So I'm going to put, oops, I'm sorry. I want to keep the colors the same so I don't confuse you. So 8 and 1 are in purple the sum, and then close parentheses. 
15, 15 minus, minus the sum of 8 and 1. The sum of 8 and 1. Well, if I add 8 and 1, it's 9. 15 minus 9, but it's not asking us to solve it. This is our solution, our answer. We did what they asked us to do. Moving on. The product of 6 and 2 added to the quotient of 9 and 3. Oh no, don't be intimidated. Pause this video and you work your way through it. Remember, you're going to circle all of your numbers. Circle, circle. Circle. And you're going to box in your operational signs. Ooh. I know product represents multiplication. Ooh, I know added it means we're going to be adding something. Ooh, quotient. Quotient means that we're going to be dividing something. Now, pause it and get to work. So I have the word the, the product of six and two. The product of six and two. Product, multiply. The product of six and two is going to be added to the, there's the, the, everything after the goes in parentheses. The quotient of nine and three. Quotient means divide. Finish. We're done. Cut. You got it. Moving on. Now let's turn this numerical expression into a word form. Now, I see parentheses. Parentheses represents the word the. So here are my numbers. Then we box in our operational signs. Okay. Everything is covered. Now, let's get it started. Let's get it started. Hey. All right. Now, minus. What word could we use to represent minus? Well, the subtraction sign. I just said it right there. The subtraction sign. What can we use to represent that? Minus or difference? No, difference. That's it. Now the addition sign we can say add or added, or we can say sum. Oh, we can also say subtract or plus. Ooh. Hey, we're coming up with some good ones. All right, so let's go ahead and write this out. The, hmm, the, let's use difference. The
the difference of The difference of 12 and 8 added to 3. There you go. All right, do this one on your own. Pause and work it out. And I'm going to work it out while you guys have me on pause. Twenty-four divided by the product of six and two. It's getting easier as we go along, I know. Now, complete these four practice problems in your math journal. Go ahead and flip to the next page or make some available space. There's two problems right here. Pause, copy them down, work them out. 1, the sum of 4 and 8 minus 7. And then number 2, 10 times the difference of 9 and 4. Pause. All right. The sum of 4 and 8 minus 7 is, you can say the sum of 4 and 8 minus 7. Or you can write it like this, the sum of 4 and 8 minus seven, it will give you the same answer. Now, 10 times the difference of nine and four, you should have 10 times the difference of nine and four. Ooh, I know you guys got that right. Now, here's problems three and four. 11 times four minus the sum of 15 and 10. And number four says, 14 divided by the sum of six and seven. Pause, work it out. All right, welcome back. So number three, 11 times four minus the sum of 15 and 10. You guys should have this. 11 times four, minus the sum of 15 and 10. Or you could have said the product of 11 and four minus the sum of 15 and 10. Now, the only difference with this is I have the. So if I wrote the, I should have parentheses around here. So make sure